So it's a really nice summer's day today. So it's still early in the morning. So I'm going to make some lovely caramel ice cream. So what I've used, what I use is I use, it's called a caramel treat. So basically it's just your normal um, condensed milk that has been boiled and pressurized and it, it actually makes a beautiful thick caramel. So I'll be using that. My cream, milk, and I have taken out fudge essence. So it's going to be like a caramel fudge flavor. So basically that is the basic recipe for today. And then I will be putting it into the ice cream machine and letting it churn. So let's get the ingredients into a bowl. So it's a cup of your cream. And everything must be chilled so it needs to come out of the fridge because um, obviously if it's going into the ice cream machine it needs to all be cold otherwise it's just going to warm the actual bowl of the ice cream machine and it's not going to freeze nicely right so now I need three quarters of a cup of my caramel treat so I'll reuse my quarter and I've got a half a cup there these are nice containers because they just pop open right so let's get this into here you can see how nice and thick it is it's a proper caramel when we were very young we used to make our own. We used to put them into a pot, the tin of condensed milk. We used to put it into a pot of boiling water and let it simmer away for a few hours. Let it cool down and then we made our own caramel treat. And then they brought out the one that you can buy in the tin. So that's showing my age a bit um, because Caramel Treat has been around for a good few years. But anyway, that's, that's what we used to do when we were younger, make our own. Right, so that is the half. this one I could have just used the the half a, I mean the full cup and then just filled it half but I just want to make sure that the ingredients are right okay so that should be fine this all goes into a bowl and I will just put the half a teaspoon of the fudge essence. It is quite strong, so you don't want too much. So I'll put almost half a teaspoon. That should be plenty. Right. Now... I just want to mix this up a little bit just to get it incorporated. Like I said, the caramel is quite thick, so you will I will need to mix it nicely. I just want to break the bits up a little bit and then I'll use my hand whisk. This is this is quite a nice whisk. 
as you push down, it spins. Um, instead of just using the hand whisk, you can just use your hand whisk, but this is quite nice just to get it going and break up all the bits and pieces in it. I am going to do it for quite a while just to make sure. What you could do is you could whip the caramel on its own with a hand mixer just to break up the bits and make them softer so that it blends into the mixture nicely. I don't mind if there is a little bit of bigger bits in here because that'll just add to the flavor of the caramel. But this is quite a handy little tool, I must say, rather than using your wrist action, because sometimes it can feel like a gym workout, which I suppose is not a bad thing. Right, so now that looks nice. It's got tiny little bits of the caramel in here still, but that's fine because that will be nice when you're actually eating it. So there we go. It's still quite nice and chilled. I'm going to grab my base of my ice cream maker and pour it in. Right, so there is my ice cream maker base. This stays in my freezer the whole time because if I ever do need to make a batch of ice cream, it's ready and waiting. So when I've used it, I'll give it a wash, put it straight back in. So this is the ice cream maker and how you put it together. So basically, that is your paddle and that is the clip that will plug into here. This is your protective plastic cover that clips in, and then this just clips into the bottom of the actual motor, and it turns. One major thing that you have to remember, turn it on, before you start pouring that in. Otherwise, it crystallizes straight away on the side and then your paddle doesn't want to turn. So, I'm going to switch it on. I'm going to pour this into a jug because it's easier to pour into the ice cream so that you don't make a mess. And we shall get it churning. It's got nice bits at the bottom and that's going to get incorporated in into the ice cream which will be perfect. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a whiz again just to mix it up but that is looking really good. get it pouring in. You can see there are still little bits of caramel in there and that's actually going to be really perfect. So let's get all the rest in.
And then that turns away for about half an hour, 25 minutes to half an hour. And hopefully we will have beautiful caramel ice cream once it is finished. So it's been 10 minutes now and you can see already how nice and thick it's getting. So this is now after 15 minutes and you can actually see it's pulling it away from the sides beautifully. So it's freezing it nicely as it goes around. That caramel is looking really good. So this recipe that I have made is for a 1.2 liter ice cream machine. As you can see, it is just short of the top of the inner bowl while it's churning so you don't want too much mixture in here because otherwise the bowl is going to cool down and it's not going to ice it as it's supposed to so if you have a bigger ice cream machine you can add to the actual recipe but if you have a 1.2 or smaller you need to adjust uh, the quantities in your in your recipe but this is perfect for this size ice cream maker so I'm going to leave it again now until it's been done for 20 minutes they say 25 to 30 minutes but mine seems to be going really nicely at the moment and I, I don't want it to be too hard because I am going to be putting it into a bowl into the freezer for later. I'm not going to be using it now as a soft serve. If I was using it as a soft serve, I would obviously also again let it get thicker, but scoop it out straight away into either a bowl or into your ice cream cones. But I'm going to be putting it into a bowl in the freezer. If you are worried, or if it's a hot day and you are worried that your um, bowl is going to cool down too much, you can always use an ice pack. I have this ice pack, it's really handy. It's got three sections to it and it's got the little gel balls that you can basically set to however the shape you want it and you can and it's got velcro on it so it can go around it's actually a sports gel pack so what you can always do is if you worry you can always put an ice pack around it this one is just a thermal pole pack and it's gel so what you can do is like I said if you live in in a hot area and you don't have aircon or something like that this is an ideal way to keep the bowl really nice and cold so that it doesn't cool down so there we go that can also help if you want to do it from the beginning to keep the warm air from getting to your bowl this is an ideal way and it will also stop um, the actual air getting to the outside of the bowl and pulling it down so as you can see 
it's icing up really nicely and now you can see why I'm saying don't use more than the quantity that I have in my recipe because it is pushing right up to the top of the bowl and you don't want anything overflowing or putting any strain on your actual little motor so it's been 20 minutes now and I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little test out of there to see how it's actually going. So that is beautiful soft serve ice cream. As you can see it's not sliding off the spoon it's actually staying so that would be perfect if you're going to be using it straight away in an ice cream cone or in a bowl so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it off now because it is done enough for me to put into a bowl and place it in the freezer right I'm going to take this off I'm not stopping it yet that was just a show and tell so let me put that back in the freezer okay so I have my bowl that I'm going to be putting it into the freezer and I can stop it now unclip it okay and then this is basically your paddle see how beautiful this ice cream is it really is lovely and quick and easy obviously I have the ice cream machine I have never tried this without the ice cream machine because I don't make ice cream that needs the, that doesn't need an ice cream machine. I have actually found a recipe that I'm going to look how beautiful that that ice cream is. It's beautiful for a soft serve if you wanted it for a soft serve. Um, I do have a recipe, like I was saying, and I interrupted myself. Um, I have a recipe for ice cream that doesn't require the ice cream machine, which I will do. Or, if you're watching this and I have already done it, you can search for it on the channel oh this ice cream is so nice and thick it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous try and get all the bits of caramel out right so I will pop this into the freezer and we will be having ice cream later but as you can see it's beautiful beautiful creamy ice cream so guys there we go rich and creamy caramel ice cream with a dash of fudge essence to it Okay, so this has been out of the fridge for about half an hour because I didn't want it too hard and I'm going to see what it's like putting it into beautiful ice cream. It's best to leave it out of the fridge for a while because then it gets nice and soft to be able to 
put it into your ice cream. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. It was a quick, quick and easy ice cream to make if you have an ice cream machine. So I hope you enjoyed watching. If you could please subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. Uh, if you like this video, it does also help. And if you would like to get notifications of when I upload a new video, you just need to click on the bell icon down below and it will send you a notification. So guys, until next time, have a great one.